In this video we're going to talk about angles. We're going to first look at some important definitions that we need to know. Then we're going to talk about coterminal, complementary, and supplementary angles. So the first definition that we need to know is the definition of an angle. An angle is the union of two rays with a common endpoint called a vertex. The initial side is where the angle starts in standard form. This is the ray that lies on the x-axis with its endpoint at the origin. Then the terminal side is the other ray that makes up the angle. So if we look at the picture I have over here, here is my initial side of my angle located on the x-axis. Then we have come up a certain degree measurement and the other ray is my terminal side that makes up my angle and where those two rays meet at the origin is my vertex. So the next thing we need to know is the difference between positive rotation and negative rotation. If the angle is in standard position and goes counterclockwise, it is said to have a positive rotation. So if we look at this example, I'm going in a counterclockwise motion. That is said to have a positive rotation. Negative rotation is when the angle is in standard position and goes clockwise. So if you look at the example I have down here, I'm going in a clockwise direction. That's going to have a negative rotation. So if we look at the first example, it's asking us to find the quadrant where the terminal side of the angle lies. So if we remember when I have my x and y axes, this is quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, and this is quadrant 4. So if I look at 187 degrees, and I draw my x and my y axis. 187 degrees means I'm going to be greater than 180 degrees. So if you recall, in 180 degrees, I'm going to start with my initial side on my x axis. So 180 degrees brings me here, but we're at 187, so I need to go 7 degrees more past 180 degrees and that's where the terminal side of my angle is going to be located. So this is going to be in quadrant 3. So the terminal side of this angle is located in quadrant 3. All right, if I draw my axis for part B, we have 800 degrees. So when I see an angle that's over 360 degrees, basically what this is telling me is that it's going around and around and we need to really know where that terminal side is going to stop. So if I take 800 degrees and I subtract 360 degrees, which means I'm going to make a full rotation, I get 400 and 40 degrees. So this number is still greater than 360 degrees, which means I make another full rotation around. So I need to subtract 360 degrees again, and when I do that, that leaves me with 80 degrees. So what this is telling me is I start with my initial side. I'm going to go around 360 degrees then I have to go around 360 degrees again and then I'm going to only go 80 degrees. So 80 degrees is located right here. So now the terminal side of my angle is located in quadrant 1. Alright, for part C we have negative 225 degrees. So remember when I have a negative angle that means that I need to go in the clockwise direction. So if I'm going in the clockwise direction that makes this negative 90 degrees, that makes this negative 180 degrees, and that makes this negative 270 degrees. So negative 225 is between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. So in order to figure out where that terminal side is going to lie, I can take 225 and subtract 180 degrees and that gives me 45 degrees. So now that I know I need to start my initial side here, 
This time we're going to go clockwise since it's a negative angle. I'm going to go past 180 degrees and then stop after I've gone 45 degrees past 180 degrees. So now we know negative 225 degrees is located in quadrant 2. Right, the next thing we're going to talk about is coterminal angles. So two or more angles are coterminal if they have the same terminal side. So if you look at a couple examples that I have here, here is my initial side and here is my terminal side of my angle. Going in the positive direction, I have 135 degrees. But then going in the negative direction, I have negative 225 degrees. So negative 225 degrees and 135 degrees are said to be coterminal angles. And you can look at the other examples. This one's really doing the same thing. I'm going in the positive direction, 330 degrees, then in the negative direction, 30 degrees. Those two are going to be coterminal because they have this same terminal side. So you can look at these other two examples on your own. So note that to find coterminal angles, when you're given an angle, we add or subtract multiples of 360 degrees. So looking at this next example, it wants us to find two positive angles and two negative angles that are coterminal with the given angle. So if I have 35 degrees, I can add 360 degrees and get my first positive angle that is coterminal to 35 degrees, which is 395 degrees. So it says that we can add multiples of 360 degrees. So in order to find the second positive angle, I can simply multiply 360 degrees by 2. So this just means I'm going to go around twice. And when I do that, I get 755 degrees. So both 755 degrees and 395 degrees are coterminal to 35 degrees. But now it asks us to find two negative angles. So we're pretty much going to do the same thing, except for this time, instead of adding 360 degrees, we're going to subtract. And when I have 35 minus 360 degrees, that gives me negative 325 degrees. So again, multiples of 360 degrees. So I can just multiply 360 degrees by 2. And when I put this in my calculator, I get negative 600 and 85 degrees. So two positive angles and two negative angles that are coterminal to our original angle of 35 degrees. So again, part B, we're really just going to do the same thing, except for this time I have a negative 81 degrees. And then I'm going to add 360 degrees, and that gives me 279 degrees. Again, multiples of 360, so I'm just going to multiply 360 degrees by 2. And if you note up here, it says answers may vary. The reason answers may vary is because I'm just choosing to multiply 360 degrees by 2. But if you wanted to multiply 360 degrees by 3, 4, 5, 25, it really doesn't matter because they're all still multiples of 360 degrees. I just want to keep my numbers as small as possible. So in this case, I get 639 degrees. Now we need to find two negative angles that are coterminal. So again, I have negative 81 minus 360 degrees. And that gets me negative 441 degrees. Again, multiplying 360 by 2. I get negative 800 and one. So all four of these angles are coterminal to our original angle, negative 81 degrees. And right, now we're going to talk about complementary and supplementary angles. So two acute angles are said to be complementary if their sum is 90 degrees. 
and two positive angles are supplementary if their sum is 180 degrees. And you can look below at my two examples. Here are complementary angles. Here's my terminal side of my angle. So 80 plus 10 gives me that 90 degree angle. This example over here, I have 135 and 45. 135 plus 45 gives me that 180 degrees. So if we look at an example, it says find the complement and supplement angles of the given angle. So they give us an angle of 17.11 degrees. So in order to find the complement, remember the two angles have to add together to equal 90 degrees. So solving this for x, I subtract 17.11 and I get x equals 72.89. So the complement of 17.11 is 72.89 degrees. To find the supplement, we need the two angles to add together to equal 180 degrees. Again, solving for x and subtracting 17.11 from both sides, I get x equals 162.89 degrees. So that's really all you need to know for this angle video, complement and supplements of angles, coterminal angles, and all of the definitions that we talked about on the second page.